everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Tell you what, Bowser is absolutely mammoth, and they say that these guys have such amazing jaw power that they could potentially bite your finger off. I have no idea if that's the truth, but I tell you what, I've always been super curious, so today, I thought I'd kind of put it to the test. Uh, what do you say we start to see what you would do to this pumpkin over here? Oh, woo! Here's the damage that Bowser did to this pumpkin. Think about how strong these are. I think that they might be stronger than a finger. I'm not sure, and he bit right through it. I mean, that's a good two and a half inches thick, and he was able to just crunch right through it. That's wild. I mean, that is wild. Uh, definitely makes me a little bit more nervous when it comes to wanting to getting my fingers anywhere close, but again, I've got an experiment. I think we're gonna find out exactly what would happen if I put my hand in Bowser's mouth. So here's where we're basically at, guys, is we're gonna try to make a mold of my hand so that we can see what happens if Bowser actually hits it. Now, we're gonna actually use a little skeleton hand. We ended up going with plastic because we didn't want anything hard that could potentially hurt him. You know, bone's gonna be a little harder than this, so I'm thinking to myself, if this snaps, you know, good chance the bone's gonna snap too, but again, we wanna make sure Bowser is okay. We have some plaster of Paris, which is gonna be the foundation of the actual casting of my arm itself. We're gonna use this gelatin, which basically is simulating ballistic gel if you know what I mean. So uh, this is going to work out really good. And before all of that, we need petroleum jelly because uh, I have to smear this on my arm in order to put it in there to actually cast my arm so that it doesn't stick all over my arm, if you know what I mean, because I need a cast of my arm. I don't want my arm to get stuck in there and then the whole thing's going to be... Now, let me just tell you guys, I have never done this before. I've watched a couple YouTube videos, so I'm kind of an expert if you know what I mean. But the fact is, I've never tried any of this. It may work, it may not work. So this video is either gonna be really awesome or really frustrating. Yo, what's happening? What have you ever heard about an alligator snapping turtle's bite? I've heard that it's pretty bad, okay? I've seen the videos online. They put like pineapples and stuff in there. I can't remember, what is it like, 1,500 pounds of pressure sure. or something like that? I'm not sure. It's what, really bad. What do you think would happen if you put your hand in its mouth? Guarantee you break your fingers, break whatever bone it touch. It would have to, right? Break it? You think that bite it off or just break them? I really don't know, man. I really don't know. I think it would more than likely just crumple your hand and break them. I don't know if it would bite it off or not. I don't know. That beak is pretty sharp. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it could. I, I think know. it potentially could. It depends you, you on want, what joints you get. You willing to try? Yep, sure. Why not? <laughs> no, I've always no. wanted a hook hand. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm just kidding. No. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to build a mold that is out of like a ballistic gel type of thing. Oh my Put gosh. it in its mouth and see if maybe Bowser can rip a finger off. We'll find Shut out. Shut up. Yeah, so, all right. So, got a long way to go. I've never done this before, but uh, we'll do this later today and hopefully... I can't wait. Yeah, I would love gonna... to see it. All right, cool. I Let's... bet I'll take a finger off. You think? Oh, maybe yeah. A, maybe a pinky. Maybe a pinky. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm down here in my workshop area and I've got my little Dremel. What I basically have to do is cut a U in this mold so that my arm actually fits in there. And then what I'm going to do is actually cut it right in half. We can duct tape it back together. That way when the mold, the plaster pairs actually dries, we can just break this apart rather than trying to somehow get the mold out of there. You got to remember my arm is going to be trapped in it. Uh, not really excited about that but nevertheless I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can't get a little U cut out here for my arm Okay, so now the whole thing is to cut this rest of this part in half just gonna try to get a little saw and just kind of zip it right on through Now for some duct tape. Yeah, I saw the movie The Martian with Matt Damon and uh, duct tape actually saved his life. He pressurized his helmet, so I think we're pretty set. We have 15 pounds of plaster of Paris, three bags of it. So we're gonna put half of that, about seven and a half pounds, into this bucket, mix it with water, and then get it ready for the actual mold itself. But before we do that, unfortunately, I have to do something to my arm that you guys, uh, I don't like the idea of at all. I'll share that with you in a second. In the meantime, Let's go ahead and get this plaster of Paris in here. So you guys probably don't know this about me, but I hate oil on my body. Any kind of oil, suntan oil. I couldn't watch my kids eat because when they got grease on their face, it freaked me out. He's really not kidding. He's told me a hundred times. I actually once filmed 
birthday cake on a kid's face and he was like, dude, that you have no idea I hate that so much. So like, it's it's a real problem with Brian. Yeah. So I have to put petroleum jelly on my arm and hand so that when the mold actually sets, I can take my hand out or it'll stick on my hand and I won't be able to get it out. This is probably the worst part for me. I mean, this is so, oh, just the, oh my gosh, this is so gross. It's just, you guys don't even understand. This is like, I'm doing a lot for you guys right now because this is like the most disgusting thing. Oh, I just hate the feel of grease on me on any level, but I don't want to have my arm stuck in a cast, that's for sure. Oh, how do you get this stuff off? Like once it's on there, I don't even know how to get it off my arm. You don't get it off, right? It just, it just stays on there forever. This is pushing it. I'd rather get in with a freaking mean rhinoceros than, uh, than do what I'm doing right now. But I'm doing this because I cannot wait for the results. Okay, so I think I'm all lubed up, guys. Look, oh, I'm not gonna be able to watch this video after I'm done with it. Oh my God, that's gross. All right, let's mix this up, plaster of Paris up quickly, and then uh, I'll get this set in, and then we'll get going, okay? Look at it all. What does it feel like? It's like, look at it, it's like, it's just Ooh, wild. It's, it's like flour, right? When yeah, it's like flour with water. I mean, but I'm not making the bread, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, geez, trying to break these clumps up and make it as smooth as I possibly can. I think this stuff sets up relatively quickly. So we're gonna have to get it going and get it into the mold. But like I said, I'm trying to break up all these clumps in here, these big pockets of dry plaster. Oh yeah, it's like. I, quick as you can, quick as you can. Hang on, I'm just gonna Hey, we're running out of time. We're done, we're done. Being this is the first time I've ever worked with Plastic of Paris, uh, obviously it sets up much quicker than we anticipated. So by the time we got it over here, poured it in here, there was no way we could do the mold. I honestly thought this was the easiest part of the entire thing. I was worried about the gelatin setting up properly. Uh, our mold is a disaster, isn't gonna work. The downside is I didn't order enough plaster repairs if we had a mistake like this, because I thought this was gonna be really easy. So now I have to go on the lookout for some more plaster repairs, hopefully locally, uh, or this whole experiment may not work. So uh, wish me luck. I'm on the hunt for some plaster repairs. So I ended up getting some more plaster of Paris. We definitely learned what not to do, that this stuff sets up so much quicker than I expected. So uh, now I've gotta lube my arm up again. I hate this part, but I have no choice because uh, that is what has to be done. So I also have got Jessica and Bruce together today because uh, it's gonna be a lot easier with more people. Obviously you need a quick moving piece for sure because they're gonna mix the plaster of Paris. I'm gonna get my hand ready and set to go. As soon as they pour it in, I can put my hand in there, hopefully set this mold up to where it actually works and uh, get this darn grease off me. And by the way, getting this off last night was disgusting. I absolutely hated every minute of it, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. Hopefully it's gonna work. I actually even did a little test with the gelatin, uh, so hopefully that'll go a little smoother. I tell you what guys, we are definitely far from Mythbusters here when it comes to making stuff, but uh, we're doing our best we can do for science, if you know what I mean. So, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Okay, so we all know what we got. I've got, as soon as I'm done, lubed up here. Oh, it's so gross. So we're just pouring the dry stuff into the buckets. Let's hope this goes good this time. Yep, go ahead. Yep, start mixing all the way down to the bottom until you get it nice and smooth. Okay, so as soon as you get it, we're getting close to where we gotta get done pretty quick here. It's gonna start setting. I think we're, is there some clumps still? Or? That's fine, that's fine, okay, yep. Let's going. go ahead, pour it in. All right, Jessica, can you just smooth this out for me? Yep. And make it as smooth as possible on the top. Perfect. Okay, I think we are good to go. Okay, now goes the hand, in print. About halfway down. Oh yeah, this one worked out much better, guys. I'm just trying to smooth all this stuff out to where there's just my hand. There's a couple little bubbles. Good job, by the way, you guys worked it well. And now I just have to sit here for the next maybe five minutes or so, let this set up as hard as I possibly can. Then ultimately what we'll do after this is we'll coat this level here with petroleum jelly so that the two molds can break apart. Then we put my hand back in here. We petroleum jelly in the other part of my hand. We pour it on top. We let that set up. Then we can actually take them apart, let them dry. And in theory, we're gonna be able to actually pour the gelatin in here and there will be the mold of my hand. Um, so, 
I'm really close on this side. I'm not excited about that. I'm hoping I don't get a breakthrough over here. It's not very deep either. No, that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, because... Yeah, because you yeah, need more. Yeah, I needed more, more material. Next up, we're just literally taking some more of the petroleum jelly and just smearing it all over the bottom of this mold so that when we pour the next one, that will actually kind of encapsulate my hand to make the actual mold. We can separate them out, right? We don't want the top mold to stick to the bottom mold because then we won't be able to get them apart without cracking it. So you just smear a nice little layer all over the place on this one. So we should be pretty much set to go to actually get my hand back in here, get the top side, and hopefully when we're done with that, we'll have a complete mold that doesn't break. And then we can pour the actual gel in there uh, with this hand right here, and hopefully we'll have a good hand that we can test out with Bowser. All right, ready for the top part? We're gonna actually do a little bit more plaster of Paris in this one, just so that we have really good coverage all the way around. Hopefully this uh, works out. This is the part I'm a little bit uh, not exactly excited about because this stuff gets super super hot when it's starting to cure. So my hand has to be in there when it's actually getting super hot and there's nothing I could do. I just have to sit there and take it because obviously we gotta let that mold set, right? So, oh my gosh, this is like, it's like opening up a milk carton, but I was never good at that. Oh my gosh, this is basically how my milk cartons usually were open when I was a kid. <laughs> now it's time to jelly the hand again. Now I'm gonna do the top side because obviously the mold's gonna be on the top side uh, this is gonna traumatize me. I'm gonna have nightmares about this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's gonna be a miracle if this works out, you know? All we really wanna do, I know you guys are really just interested in seeing if Bowser is gonna bite fingers off, but you know, we have to get there and I wanted to take you guys along on that journey of how we actually are gonna get to this point and to get there, uh, you guys are learning right along with me. So I guess if you guys are ever in a position where you want to uh, make a mold of your head or something like that, although I don't know that that would work out the same because you might suffocate in the mold. Yeah, but, uh, you just put like yeah. a bag on your face. <laughs> yeah, 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 just yeah, put a bag on your I face. I actually have done that. I have made you? a mask like that, yeah. Oh my what? God. So Jessica's just gonna mix this stuff up really good. Whoop, 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 slow down, slow down, just slower. Yep, go ahead. So right now, the only concern I have is that the mold isn't really thick, you know, it's maybe a half inch over my fingers. And what happens is when we break away this mold, um, we have to separate the top from the bottom. And that weak point that's only like a half inch away from my hand could potentially break off. So, um, and that would completely ruin the mold. It'd be, you know, it'd be done, you know? So that is the biggest concern right now. Unfortunately, we just have to wait and let this thing set up. A few moments later. Idea is let's just tip like this and then pull towards you. But remember my arm's caught in there. This is about as far as I can bend my arm. So can you guys take the tape off now? And down there. So the moment of truth guys, to trying to get this mold apart. We'll see if this actually works or not work. Okay. There it is. All right, so now the moment of truth is really, can we somehow try these two apart? <laughs> this isn't going as well as what I was, I was thinking that we just like take it out and it would just pop right off like a cake fan or something, but uh, obviously not the case. We've never done this before. Yep, so. this is the first time. <laughs> so we don't know what's happening. So man, I got this new workout routine. You know, curls for the girls? <laughs> no, no, no. It's like 10 pounds of plaster on my hand and I can't get it out. I'm just like, uh, I'm stuck. There it is, hang on, hang on. Oh, look at this, guys. Are you kidding me? I think we got a mold, kind of. Oh, oh man. Oh okay. no, Brian. I, I feel like, I feel like Han Solo. <laughs> Literally, Han Solo. Han Solo. All right, so we did get a little breakage in the mold right here, but overall I think things went pretty well. So now what we have to do is just let this completely cure so that we definitely have a mold. I mean, it's not perfect by any stretch, but uh, after all, this is the first time we've ever done it. I think I can kind of seal this up a little bit and then uh, put this on top of each other and let this cure and then maybe here in an hour or so we can start to do the gel and make that little gel hand and uh, hey, we're moving along. Good job, guys. Hey, Phoebe. Lori, what do you think about Bowser? If he were to bite your hand, do you think that it would take a finger off? 
I think absolutely. You think it would? So I've got this idea where I'm going to make a ballistic gel hand and I'm going to put it in its mouth. And you think it's going to bite the finger off? I 100% think. Really? Bite a finger off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm excited about it. I have no idea. People have been saying it forever. You know, I hear it's got the strongest jaw power. Sometimes they say it's not got as strong. So I don't know what's going to happen. So. Well, think about it, okay? So you've got Matilda who is a big tortoise, yeah. which doesn't even snap as hard as he does. And have you seen her bite through a carrot? Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can figure out how to get this thing to work right, and then we can test it later. <laughs> good okay. luck. Yeah, good luck, I need it. <laughs> on to the last steps of the mold itself. We have the little skeleton hand, we have a stick on it so we can maneuver it around, because again, when this is standing up, we don't want it to fall down. I'm not expecting it to be perfect, but when we have this in here like this, we can actually secure it like this, and it'll stay in there with the actual gelatin. So now what we have to do is put some petroleum jelly all over here so that the gelatin actually doesn't adhere to the actual cast. And then we have to do a little bead of caulk around the hand like this so that it kind of seals so that that way when we put this cast on that cast tape it all up hopefully it'll be sealed so that when we pour the liquid gelatin it'll actually not seep out right and then with any luck it'll dry and we'll take it apart and there'll be like a ballistic gel hand that we can use will this work uh i don't know i'm actually pretty surprised that we've gotten this far to be totally honest with you so uh, a couple more steps fingers crossed and hopefully this thing will work out and we can test it on bound All right, so I did a little practice piece. You can see this is what it's gonna look like if everything goes well. Now you have to mix it up a little different than you would say the instructions, which where you basically just get hot water, you put the gelatin in, mix it in. You won't get this type of consistency that almost ballistic gel. You have to actually use cold water, slowly pouring it in. Then once it becomes like an applesauce consistency, you actually use hot water to actually surround the thing and warm it back up to where it becomes liquid and you can pour it like this. Looks pretty cool, right? So let's hope my small test works out the same way with a large your amount. You can see it's starting to get a little bit more like applesauce consistency. That's what you want. Now what I really want to do is get all these little chunks out of here because again when these guys actually cure it's going to look like there's chunks in my hand right. But I think that we're at the right consistency now. Now that it's at this cold pour what we do is actually use hot water around it so that we can get it into a liquid state so it turns clear again. You'll see as we actually continue to agitate it and get this hot water going. And you can see how it's starting to get a lot more pliable, a lot more liquid-like. It's not nearly as much gelatin or applesauce texture, right? So we'll just keep this going until it's completely clear, and that's what's gonna give us our clear ballistic gelatin look. Uh, I just hope I mixed up enough of this concoction, because if I didn't, we're gonna be in big trouble. Got a little bit of a leak. That's not good. Down. This quick, guys. Okay, we didn't lose all the gelatin. Now we're not going to have enough mold in there. To... Where do you think it would be? Downstairs? I have no idea. I think there's zero chance of it working, so. So, guys, this is a major disappointment. I mean, out of all the things that we're going to do, the thing I thought was the least likely to happen was a leak like this, a catastrophic leak. I can't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I did not expect this, you know, I, I'm, I'm truly devastated because we put so much work and energy into this and I think there's, I think it's just done. I mean, it's just slowly leaking out and there's nothing we can do about it, you know? You just gotta sit here and watch our, all that work just kind of go away. Obviously, it's a massive disappointment. We went ahead and let this dry. And I'm just gonna kind of cut things out and see if there's anything salvageable at all in this. Okay. Well, we actually have something at least. That's better than I expected, to be totally honest with you. We can still get Bowser to kind of go in right here and see if the finger is. But I'm gonna give this one more shot because in 
theory, it kind of worked. We just messed up when it came to all of the leakage issues, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and strip this off and try to seal it one more time and give it one more shot. We at least know we have a backup where this can work. It's not perfect ideal, but we can actually see what's going on. Um, and if we get a full hand, that's even better. But at least I feel kind of good that uh, we have a backup if all else fails. What do you guys think went wrong? Honestly, I think a shorter list would be what went right. You know, because <laughs> it really well, just... Most of the gel came out. Well, right. That's our main so, issue there. Yeah, I, how do we solve it? I mean, I think that if we do another mold in the future, that second pour yeah. was the proper consistency. Yeah, no, the first one was all wavy. That's where I and think... And we it, couldn't get all of it out of the bucket either, so it was yeah. a little bit, like, yeah. sh like, shorter. You want two flat surfaces together to create a mm -hmm. seal. Yeah. And we had all these ridges, so I think that the second pour was much better. It took a lot longer to, to so, seal. So you're saying we should probably work on our method a little bit more. The method of the cast, I think, is important. But now, what I have to try to figure out is, we don't have time to do another cast. Right. right. So, so we got to figure out how to seal around yeah, it. Yeah. How are we going to seal it now? I actually siliconed a bunch of stuff. I'm flex sealing it before we tape it so that it's completely sealed. So uh, Billy Mays used to tell me that this stuff worked and you could, I guess this guy here, actually uh, Phil Swift can actually uh, go in a boat with this as a bottom. So I, I don't know. So I'm just gonna continue to spray and put a really thick coat on here so that there's no seepage. Again, we have the backup with the other hand that should be fine, but uh, I want a complete hand. I just think it'd be cool. That way if he bites in a certain way, we get the whole feel of what it does to flesh and stuff like that. So. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry completely this time. I think that might have been the other problem. Is we just kind of put it together, taped it, and then poured the liquid in so the silicone caulk didn't even get a chance to set. So now that everything sets, maybe if we wait an hour or so, this can be sealed up enough to actually make a complete hand. I don't know, but uh, hey, if nothing else, we've learned what not to do. Hopefully we're learning what to do now, and, uh, and hopefully you guys, if you ever want to make a ballistic hand, now you guys are gonna learn right along with us. It's not leaking as much as it did, at least. I don't know if it's leaking at all, but it's by this time we already had like, you know, like. Yeah, <laughs> I don't see any leakage so far. So far, we might be okay. I'm not gonna get overly optimistic yet, but right now it seems to be holding level. Uh, don't see a real drippage out. We got a little leak right here, a little leak right there. I'm not too terribly concerned with a little leak. Even if it leaks out just a little bit, I'm okay with that. Uh, again, as this kind of starts to harden up over the next 15, 20 minutes, obviously it's gonna kind of fill those gaps up and gonna kind of stop. Again, we don't have a massive leak, just a very little leak over here. So uh, I think right now we're in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna leave it be for now. We're gonna, um, you know, prop it up to where it doesn't fall over. And uh, we're just gonna leave this alone for the next probably two or three hours. We'll come back and check, fingers crossed. We might have a good mold here, guys. So uh, I think, this one, yeah. I I think this one. <laughs> all right, this has been an exercise in patience for sure. So, okay, then the payoff, will Bowser actually chop a finger off? Oh my God. I almost forgot that's what this was all about. I thought it was about building a mold, but uh, <laughs> we do still have the payoff. So, okay, uh, fingers crossed, guys. One eternity later. There you go. Do we have there a hand? Go. Be there you go. Yes. Looks like we got a hand, holy guys. Holy moly. <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Oh my gosh. Holy. Look at this. Dude. It's a ballistic gel hand, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It worked out perfect. So uh, I think this is going to be good. It scares a little couple little areas here we'll have to work on, but I think this is going to be really good. Uh, I cannot believe we're standing here with a ballistic gel hand. Now the idea is to get Bowser to bite right here and see what happens to those things. Ah! All right guys, so back to the moment of truth. This is what all our hard work has come up to. Will Bowser actually bite a finger off? We're about to find out. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh! Jeez! Did you see that? Oh my gosh! Oh! Woo! I tell you what. Well, guys, there was some pretty significant damage for sure. Here's a finger over here. Look at all these fingers. It pretty much bit the flesh off of everything. But the interesting thing is, yeah, it pretty much cracked that bone. It cracked the bone right in half. Didn't bite it all the way off though. Again, this is plastic, so maybe more brittle bone would have snapped off, but 
That was violent, guys. That was crazy. There is no doubt that if my hand was in there, at least I'm gonna probably lose all the flesh around my finger, if not the bone itself. Whew. What do you guys think? Was that crazy? Yeah. Wow, that was so violent. So, uh, hey, listen, uh, you guys may not know this, but this was supposed to be on Halloween, hence the costumes that are going on over here. Uh, this actually took us four days because of all our mess ups, but uh, it actually worked out relatively well. Uh, but uh, this was a four day <laughs> film. And what do you guys, let me know in the comments if you guys thought that this was gonna happen. How absolutely crazy. So wrapping things up, guys, I mean, how do you think that worked? I mean, was it what you expected? Dude, I, honestly, I actually wasn't expecting so much. Like all the fingers to I thought yeah, maybe no. a couple might be, maybe a break or yeah. something like that, but no. no way. Your whole fingers would be gone, you'd just be walking around with a fist. Yeah, basically. I tell you what, I, again, I Thank wasn't you. sure. I was kind of thinking that it wouldn't be as bad as it actually was. I thought it was maybe the, the legend was more than the actual truth, but uh, I tell you what, snapping turtle, <laughs> that's nothing to be messed with. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do more like this, uh, and I will be happy to do maybe Lucy, maybe RJ, stuff like that. Yeah, we'll do some oh other stuff. God. Oh, dude, oh my yeah. God, wouldn't that be sweet? We gotta great, get blood so. in there next time. Yeah, yeah we'll put the blood in. We'll do this better. Yeah. We learned how to do this yeah. right yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. now. Oh my God, we really better. did learn a lot from this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Bruce and Jessica, you guys did a lot for me. I really yeah. appreciate you guys uh, giving me a hand with this. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit this video right over here. Again, leave comments down below. Here's a whole playlist I think you guys will like. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. Turn those post notifications on for me. Remember to have an amazing day, and you better be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.